I'm a luthier now, so I make I make guitars. This one is a solid birch mahogany Maranti, and uh, <laughs> took me a lot. It's, well, it's not solid anymore, but <laughs> it took me a while to make. No, I'm here with I'm here with Gretsch drums. My signature snare drum is finally here, the Gretsch Brooklyn Standard. The concept was really just to come up with a standard sounding snare drum, almost, I don't want to say generic, but a basic snare. Everybody had gone so crazy with snare drums and everything was so wild, but no one was just having a, a, a really good sounding snare drum that just did its job. So we went with a 14 by five and a half. It's a uh, maple and poplar shell. We got extra wide snares on the bottom to provide more sensitivity, more snappiness. And then we did something that Gretsch doesn't do, which is a double 45 degree bearing edge. So the double 45 degree bearing edge really made it a lot more sensitive. So we tried to make a wood drum as sensitive as a metal drum. Then we brought back the new classic lugs from the 1930s. Those are my favorite lugs that Gretsch has ever made. So I was like, they have to be on my drum. And then most importantly, we put in tone control. I just got kind of fed up with having gummy bears stuck to the top of my drums. They solved this problem in the 1920s. Let's just put it on the drum. So yeah, so it comes with tone control. It's got the USA custom throw off, lightning throw. And it's just honestly a very simple, beautiful drum. We went with a flat black finish so that it would match everyone's drum kit. I would say I made this drum as much for my students as I did for me. I wanted them to say, okay, I'm ready to get my first professional snare drum. What should I get? The Brooklyn Standard. And then from here, once you've started your snare collection, then you can go into the more exotic drums. I just didn't want my students who didn't know any better to start with something like that. I wanted them to start with a standard snare drum. Oh, uh, hundreds a day. So I needed an answer. I was like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, there's so many options out there. So this was just an effort to, to bring those options down and say, start with this. This is the drum that will never embarrass you. At no point will a producer say, did you bring anything else? Because it just sounds like a sample. It sounds like a snare drum. This would be your first professional snare. It's still going to sell for around $500. So this is not entry level. This is the snare that I'm playing. I think right now we're in a good place where in that $900 range, everyone's making really good stuff. So even as a Gretsch artist, I have to acknowledge PDP makes great stuff. Tama with the Silver Star, great stuff. I still think the Gretsch Catalina Club is one of the best kits you can get. They're doing so much. Even the Catalina behind me right now has wood hoops on it. So we're in a really good place where entry-level price drums are nothing like entry-level drums. They have fantastic finishes. They sound amazing. They come with decent heads. If I had two snare drums, I would have the Brooklyn Standard as my wood snare and then an ANF raw brass 55 by 14 as my, as my metal snare. And then I'd be, I'd be done. I'd have everything I needed. This is my snare. I choose this over all my entire snare collection. It's my favorite. And with the tone control, it can be as dead or as lively as you want. So the Brooklyn Standard.